What's going on, everybody? We back again. It's your boy, Juice Bundles, and this is the sound of hip hop. <laughs> Got a product you should know about Finna have LA County on fire Got the whole hood showing out A new concept, peep the process I'ma break it down and put it in proper context Get a seven foot map with your set on it Red or blue, it don't matter, you can flex on it Long Beach, Compton and Watts LA, Inglewood, every single block might catch a view with your local barber shop. Hang it up at the crib and you getting props. Collect this item for the chosen few. Go ahead and buy you one for the culture like you supposed to do. If you new to the town, you need a good map. I got one better, get you a hood map. Guarantee you it's worth it. Hoodmapsllc.com for the purchase. Like I said, we back again. The Sound of Hip Hop, best hip hop podcast ever, where we improving the culture one episode at a time. So I have a lot of different topics that I talk about today. I just want to give a message to my people, man. It's nothing serious. I mean, it's kind of serious, but it's something that I feel as though that we all should know and to strive for. Now, what I'm talking about today is, you know, I look around, man, and every single person I know has a job. You know what I mean? Every single person I know has a job. It's not a lot of people um, having businesses. It's not a lot of people, like, you know, letting their money make money. And the people that are usually doing that are, you know, doing illegal things. You know what I mean? And I, for one, kind of don't blame them because it's like, Everybody you see having a job struggle, but at the same time, having a job to me, and even though I have one, you know, because I learned this stuff late, having a job is like a form of slavery almost. Not saying that what I'm trying to say is it's a form of slavery if you do it your whole entire life. You know what I mean? But even though people get money or whatever and let their money work for them and it be illegal, you know what I mean, you can put yourself in the realm to get a form of slavery. That's why they don't want us to do stuff like that because it's almost like a business. It's an entrepreneurship. But you shouldn't do it anyway because it's illegal. I don't want to see anybody in jail. But with that being said, uh, I never learned, and a lot of people in our culture, we never learned about our money making money. We never learned about, you know, opening certain businesses or investing in certain things so that we could prosper without working our whole lives. You got to understand, working your whole life, especially for people that, you know, work eight-hour shifts, you know, you probably won't work from probably like the age of birth to about 18. You probably, most people don't work, like most people don't work during that age. Some people work at 16, but most people don't work at that age. That's a third of your life, not counting your childhood years. And all our parents, especially this new generation, because as you can, well, as I can see, this new generation is doing better than our parents. You know what I mean? The, the kids or the people that are around my age and this generation and even a little younger as far as 30s and 20s, they're doing better than their parents were because, you know, it was a lot, the crack epidemic and all that type of stuff. So we need to be learning this stuff. And even though we caught on late, um, we're still doing better than our parents and our parents' parents and so on. So we need to learn this information to teach to our kids. Like, I was always taught that if you put something in your name, you know what I mean, or let's just say I wanted my kids to have good credit and I was to put something in my kid's name, you know what I mean, and, oh, put something in their name, whether it be a light bill, whether it be a loan or whatever, go in debt, pay it with interest, and, you know, that will rise, you know, your kid's credit for when they get older. You know what I've recently learned? 
that all you have to do is get your credit to where you want it to be and then get an authorized user card for your kids and say, bam, I want my kids to have an authorized user card. And basically what I've been told, you know what I mean? What I've kind of looked up and been told is that within 30 days, their score will mirror your score. You know what I mean? I've never, le- we, don't, we don't learn that type of stuff. You know what I mean? We don't learn that type of stuff in our community. We don't learn that type of stuff about business. You know what I mean? And I understand that um, we got to get it from the mud, you know what I mean, in a sense. We got to get it from the mud because a lot of our parents didn't have things, or even us, as far as our kids. Our kids are going to somewhat have to get it from the mud, but we can teach them exactly what to do if we're not, you know, very highly financial. And the reason why I want to teach, the reason why I'm on this subject is because I see, I've seen a lot of my peers, you know what I mean? I'm from Long Beach, but, you know, I grew up in the Wrigley area and um, I went to school with kids in Bixby Knowles, you know what I mean? Anybody knows who that, what that area is. It's a very rich area in Long Beach. Probably not one house in that, in that, uh, area of Long Beach costs less than a million dollars. You know what I mean? So uh, you've seen that they were already on this path. And you've seen, like, what they were taught and what they were doing. And, like, all those dudes now, that I, most of them that, that I remember and that I know are, are successful. And another thing that uh, a lot of people don't understand is that we – we go to school, we're trying to succeed. We go to school to go to college to work for somebody the rest of our lives. It should never be like that. And um, I seen that, I started to see that most of my white friends or most of my white associates that, you know, their parents already had money and they already were like hip to the game, they go to college for either, they, they might go for a job that they really love to do, but they go to college to it's like they already have a business or they're already in business and they go to college to network or learn the skills hands on about their business. We go to college, most most black people, most Hispanic people that go to college, they go to college to get that information and get that education to work for somebody and and you know what I mean? And I I was always taught to do that. You know what I mean? I was always taught to do that, which is kind of crazy. But I've come up with this concept. You know what I mean? This is just, this is where, you know, I feel like I'm coming with an expertise. And I've come up with this concept. If you ever have to work, you know what I mean, within your life, you know what I mean? It's not nothing bad about working, but I just feel as though you should not work your entire life because it's almost like slavery in a sense and it's keeping you from what you really want to do and your destiny. So what I've come up with is if you can get if if you have the the uh if you have the capital already or you have parents that um that already have some and already have a business or you know or have associates that could help you and lend you do things, the first thing that I would advise you to do is get that money and really research, in my opinion, this is what you should do, really research businesses or investments or something like that that's very low risk that you know will make you money. Now, for the people who don't have that, while you're working, while you're working, you should be looking at businesses and investments so that you can invest your money in it. You know what I mean? That's why we can't make mistakes about having kids at 16 and stuff like that. I understand that certain things happen, but it's all type of things in this world to stop that, one of them being abstinence. And I know how it is, and I know it's easy for me to say that, but we have to take control of our destiny. So with that being said, like I said, while you're working these jobs in your early 20s or in your, or in your late teens, you know what I mean? Save your money. Be saving your money. And uh, and please be, be looking and 
be be looking to see what type of investments you can do, low risk investments, because like if you're getting it out the mud and you're saving money, I know that you can't really risk it like that. So look at these investments, look at certain businesses, you know what I mean? Look at certain businesses that you can do, it's even if it's just making you a little bit of money, let's just say, okay, you invested in something or you, or you put your money in a business that's only making you 2000 extra each month. It's still something while you have a job. You don't have to spend that money. And for the people, like I said, that have have that capital, you could just watch it work. Or you could really invest in those things that could really make you money. And with that being said, after you've invested in that for so long, you still continue, whether it be in college, whether it be, uh, you know, just looking things up in the Internet, whether it be networking, whether, you know what I mean, Wherever you can get the information from, you start to take your money and because I know it takes money to make money. So you so whether you were, you're getting it out the mud or you're getting it from your peoples, take that money and see what with big money, what is the most prospering or the most prospering, you know, safe type of investments or businesses to put your money in. You know what I mean? And that will open the door to all type of businesses and all type of investments to make you money instead of you working your entire life. Then the second concept of that goes is because I believe, in my opinion, you should have two type of hustles. One, that for sure makes you money. And two, like... This is this is my second type of Im- investment, if you will. Like, I love talking about hip-hop. I love talking about, you know, women and all type of stuff. So this is something that my second business to where something I love to do, something I could do every day and it's not like work, that I own, that, you know what I mean, that my children can have. You know what I mean? This company is something that, I am very interested in and, you know, have a heart for. So two things, like I said, one, invest in a business that is very lucrative, no matter, or invest in a business or invest in certain um, investments that are lucrative, no matter, you know, if you like it or not, this, this, and this, you're just going to be watching your money make money. And when that builds, you can spread that money into all type of lucrative businesses. And then this will be something like your job. You know what I mean? The second type of business, you go do so, You could, I mean, if you're, a, if you're an athlete, you know what I mean? You can go play in the NFL. Or if you, you know, whatever your passion is, like, something that you like to do, you know, hopefully it's not porn or selling drugs or anything like that, but something legal that you love to do, then you can invest in that and whether that fails or succeeds or whether let's just say you only make 2000 to 4000 a month with this business, it's passion, it's a passion business that you can do for life that is not like work and it's extra money. It's extra money for doing something you love. So that's my philosophy on that because, and the reason why, and the reason why I'm bringing all this up is because when you let your money make, when you let your money make you money as far as, you know, the first type of business or investment I was talking about, when you let your money make you money and then you have a business to do something you love, again, it's all type of money coming in. And you have the time to seek the important things of life. Because like like I um like me for instance, I've always, and this is this has just always been a wonder of mine, I've always wanted to like find the true meaning or the excuse me, the true God of life. You know what I mean? Whether it took trips, whether it took research, like I've always wanted to do that with my life, like to really, I mean, I know that I believe, you know, I'm a a Pentecostal Christian. I know that I believe in in what I believe in, but like I've I've said on uh, certain other podcasts, 
this is what I believe, but I don't really know what it is to be true. And everybody has different type of religions. I've always wanted to compare religions. I've always wanted to really, you know, it says in the Bible that those who seek me diligently, you know, will be rewarded. Something like that in there. <laughs> it says something close to that. I'm not sure if that's the exact scripture, but he would. But the point is, he really wants you to seek him diligently. And if I'm working an eight-hour shift, plus taking care of a family, you know, I still got to get some sleep too. I really have no time for that. You know what I mean? I really have no time for that. And me and my um, me and my man was talking the other day, and uh, we. I want to use this as an example because we were just like talking about the Bible. And uh, I remember it's a scripture in there that says, as a man thinketh, so is he. You know what I mean? And uh, me and every single person that has ever like talked about that scripture, the way we've interpreted that was, as a man thinketh, so is he. So like saying like, um, so if I think I'm going to fail, then I'm going to fail. You know what I mean? If I think I'm going to fail, then I'm going to fail. If I, if I think that, you know, I'm going to prosper, I'm going to prosper. And that's what I've always thought about that scripture. You know what I mean? Like how you thinking about yourself, that's who you're going to be. And, you know what I mean? And that's who you are. In a sense, what I just said was right, but not in that way. When we really looked at the scripture and when we really uh, analyzed it, we more or less came to the conclusion that that's not right. More or less is your thoughts is what make you who you are. As far as like, now, not if I think I'm a prosper, I'm a prosper. If not, if I think I'm a failure, I'm a failure. No. If I think like evil thoughts, and I think of like, like, just for instance, greed is one of the seven deadly sins. If I'm always thinking of a way to get money, and if it's like, I don't care whether it's illegal, whether it's illegal, I mean, whether it's illegal or whether it's, you know, righteous, but all I do and my whole thought process is about money, then I'm greedy. You know what I mean? Your thoughts is what shapes who you are. As a man thinketh, so is he. Another example, if, uh, let's see, uh, if, um, if, you know, um, if all I do is lust after women, every time I see a woman, all I think is, oh, dang, she's sexy, oh, I'm trying to hit that, or all I do is watch porn, I'm a pervert, as a man think of so is he, and, and I've never really looked at it like that till we read the whole scripture, like, not just that part, but the parts before it, and we didn't find, we didn't come to that conclusion till we really sat and talked about it. And then, and that's what I mean, if I could, you know, if I could, you know, because we only on this earth for a minute, long as you're doing something that you love and that, you know, it's not, you know, uh, it's not against God or it's not against your morals or whatever, you know, that's fine. So if we have you know, the investments, and we have the um, the business that's lucrative, whether we like it or not. And then we and then we get enough capital for that and to make money off of the thing we love to do, which in my case, it will be something like this, something like this podcast, we can then go seek the things we love. We can go seek uh, God or whatever it is that you want to do. You have the time for it. We only here for a split second. You know what I mean? I know it seems like we, I mean, we've been here for years, but we only been here for a split second. And I don't think that every man and woman was put here to work for somebody. You know what I mean? I don't think that that, I don't think that that is our destiny. You know what I mean? I don't think that it's people's destiny to be a nurse, you know, for 30 years. You know what I mean? You can nurse people on your own if that's something you want to do. You can open up a business to do that, but you can use your money to make money and then open your own business to where if you want to be a nurse, you don't have to listen to what they tell you. Because I've met a lot of nurses and they say like a lot of doctors tell them and, and tell them to do things and make them do things that they don't feel is right or they don't want to do. Well, if that is really your passion to nurse people, 
you can open up your own business with the capital, whether you have to work for it first or whether it is lended to you or given to you by your associates or your family, you can make those investments first to make the lucrative money from the lucrative businesses or investments, and then you can take other money to build your own nurse station or build your own, what you know, whatever. I don't really know that too much about nursing, but you can build that, and then the stuff that he's telling you to do that you know from research and you doing this so many years isn't right, you don't have to stand for that. Do you get what I'm saying? And I'm just, this is just a message for me. It was something that came to my heart. Now, for me, I want to go and seek, you know, all type of things. I, I want to seek God. You know what I mean? That would be the main thing that I want to do. You know what I mean? Go do some research, learn Hebrew, all type of stuff. But it's a lot of things that I want to seek. Do you, and, and I still work a job right now because the information and all this stuff that, you know, I'm talking about, I've got it late, not just because of, somebody not telling me, but the choices and mistakes I made, we have to be very mindful of the things we're doing. It could hinder us and stun our growth in very many ways, whether it be having kids early, whether it be, you know, committing crimes to land you in the building for however many years. You know what I mean? We have to be worried about our futures soon. Like, I remember all those uh, kids that I was growing up with in Bixby Knows, you know, they, you've never seen them thinking about going to commit crimes, going to, you know, thinking about shooting people or just doing idiotic things to stunt their growth or land them in trouble so that they couldn't do what they were trying to do or they couldn't do what their parents were telling them to do. You know what I mean? We had to be smarter than that because nobody's going to tell us this stuff. So that's just my opinion. That's just a message that I want to give to you guys. You know what I mean? And I think that, like I said, if we really get together, because we are a culture, you know what I mean, whether we like it or not, even though we have, a, a, as far as hip-hop, we have a lot of different cultures, but this is our culture, you know what I mean, especially black people. So like I said, whether you got to get it out the mud, do the research, man, do the research. There's nothing wrong with going to college either. That's part of... The research, that's part of networking. You get what I'm saying? But you got to get the grades because you don't want to go in there and be owing mad debt just to research and network. Nah, get the grades. It doesn't matter if it's Yale, Harvard, or, you know, ESU. You're talking about East Stroudsburg University. It doesn't matter. You know what I mean? You can get a scholarship. If you get the grades, you can get a scholarship. And go through that and really find out what you're passionate about, what you want to do with your life. So when you do that and you network and you get those people and you get that information and then you put your money in these businesses like or you might learn how to invest in stocks. So now you hit the stock market. You know, you come up on a little something, you put it back in the stock market, and then a little bit you come up with, you go flip some houses or, you know what I mean, whatever it is that you find lucrative to do. And then once you got all that money, you could just have hire somebody to take care of that stuff for you and then get on the passion of the business or the work that you really want to do. You know what I mean? And that was just my message today. You know what I mean? That's what I feel. Uh, I don't know why I wanted to talk about that, but I did. You know what I mean? So if you like this video, man, hit the like button. If you don't like it, hit the like button. You know what I mean? Hit the comment section and let me know if you liked it or if you thought it was informative or whatever it was. And please, please subscribe to my channel. I need a 1,000 subscribers. Please subscribe to my channel so that... I could make my dream come true as far as the things, as far as the business that I love to do, and I could make that lucrative. So, with, and, it, and it will cost you no money. Subscribe to the channel, check it out, and, you know, it will help me. You know what I mean? Support me, support, you know, support black businesses. You know what I mean? So, with that being said, it's your boy, Juice Bundles. The sound of hip-hop, like I told you again, I really mean this when I'm saying this, whether it be about the music, whether it be about anything, we improve in the culture one episode at a time. Remember that. Boy Juice Bundles, we out of here.